Hey, I got a really fun song for you to learn today. Let's learn an acoustic one guitar strumming version of the Pink Floyd hit Time from the 1973 record Dark Side of the Moon. The song's in F sharp minor. It's in 4-4 time and it's about 120 beats per minute. We're going to do the song's original tuning, standard A440 tunings. Go ahead and tune your guitars low to high, standard E, A, D, G, B, and E. So the verse progression, the chords you're going to need for the verse progression, you're going to need F sharp minor. And that's going to go to an A major. I'm going to show you how to embellish it too, and you can play a more complex version. I'll show you an easier way to do it too. To E major, and then back to F sharp minor. And you could just do a verse progression for the intro of the song too. But basically, an easy, basic way to do it is you could play it like this. repeats it, does that progression twice for the verses. Uh, first and second verse are the same. The first verse is a ticking away, the moments to make up a dull day. The second verse is then you run and you run to catch up with the sun. The third verse later in the song, you call it a verse, it changes home, home again. That's a different progression which I'll show you later. Now if you're having trouble with that B minor chord or the F sharp minor or bar chords in general, I could really help you with that. Click the link in the YouTube description box below and I'll send you a killer free video lesson. It's extended play and it's not on YouTube and it's my best bar chord playing uh, and changing techniques. It, the lesson is packed with pro tips and exercises to really get your bar chord playing and changing. Just blast it to the next level. And I'll pair it with an ebook which has more chord charts in it, more exercises, more lessons. It's a killer one two punch. I'll send them both to you for free. The video lesson and ebook, just click on that link below. A more complex way that's a little more interesting with some embellishing and chucking, I would play it like this. <laughs> Okay, um, that's the way to me sounds a little bit more interesting, right? So it's F sharp minor ticking away the moments that make up a dull day. On day you go to A major, E, fritter and waste the hours in an offhand way back to F sharp minor. Now if you just do that easy strum, down, 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 up, up, down, down, up, down, up, down, down, down. And you could do that for a lot of the song. A down, 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 up, up, down, down, up, down, up, E down, 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 up, up, down, down, up, down, up, back to F sharp minor. Down, up, up, down, down, up, down. Okay, now let me show you a little of the embellishing I, I was doing. Um, on that A major chord, you could play an A suspended fourth by adding your pinky to that D note which is at the third fret of the B string. It's an A sus4, then you could take it off, you go back to A, then take off the third finger, and that gives the B string open. And you get an A suspended second, and then back to A. So you're kind of sandwiching those suspensions in between the A chord, right? Okay, so from the F sharp minor slow, Like one hit each until that last A chord you do twice. On the E chord, I kind of hit the low root first and then the whole chord just to get a little bit of separation. It's another cool embellishment. You can do that with all the chords, like part chord, whole chord, part chord, whole chord get a differentiation in the strumming. And the other thing I'm doing is the chucking, right? Because that adds a lot. Now when you're chucking the bar chords, like on this F sharp minor, you're controlling the six strings with that first bar finger on the fret hand. So all I'm doing is I'm squeezing, playing the chord, and then loosening pressure. And you see when I loosen, you get that chuck. See, I'm not squeezing. I'm just, I still have my hand in the voicing and I'm still laying the fingers on the strings, but I'm not squeezing. You can get all kinds of cool rhythms. To squeeze and let go, squeeze and let go. On each of the chords. Now 
when you get to the open chords, I'm chucking a little differently because you have open strings ringing, you're not controlling all the strings like a bar chord with one finger. So when you do with the open chords, the move is to let this side of your palm hit the strings at the same time the pick does. See, it's all in that pick hand. I'm not using the fret hand at all to get that sound. It's a little different. Up, right? So we got the chucking going on, you got the embellishing of the of the A chord, we got the low root hitting of the E to give it that more kind of interesting style, especially with one guitar, because we don't have the implement we don't have the instrumentation, right? You don't have the drums, the bass, the keyboards, other guitars. So we have to make it interesting with one. So that's the first two verses you have now, and the first verse goes into the chorus, the tired of lying in the sunshine. I'll play that for you first and I'll go back and explain it. You could just play like tired of lying in the sunshine, a D major, tired of lying in the sunshine, A major, staying home to watch the rain. But because we have one guitar, I want those chords to sound a little bit more rich. So I'm going to use a D major 7, tired of lying in the sunshine, to an A major 7 to watch the rain. Let me play you the, the chorus and I'll go back and explain the other chords too. It'll sound like this. We'll use a similar strum. after that first chorus it goes into the guitar solo. Um, so basically what I'm doing for the chorus is I'm going that D major 7 to an A major 7, you do that two times, and then D major 7, then you go to a C sharp minor 7, and uh, then you go to a whole step back or two frets, same voicing, that's a B minor 7 on that second fret of the A string, B minor 7 to an E. So it's kind of like this, I'll kind of just say the words so you can kind of get it, I can't really sing very well, but uh, so to the main progression, okay? Now the strum pattern I was using for that was very similar to the one we did in the verses, was just a down, 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 up, up, down, up, down, up. So it's a little less strummy, just to give it a little bit more of an open kind of airiness to it. Down, 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 up, up, down, rest, up, down, up, down, rest, down, down, up, up, down, up, down, up, okay? After you do it two times, uh, D major 7 to A major 7, it's, and then one day you find, then C sharp minor 7, 10 years have come behind you, B minor 7, no one told you when to run, you miss the starting gun is E. And that little lick, which is kind of cool, second fret, low E string, F sharp note, bend, like a half step, and then open, low E, and then the low E chord, so it's kind of like, no one told you when to run. You missed the starting. I kind of sneak it in there, right? Uh, and you can build that E chord up into the guitar solo. And hey, if you haven't yet, please subscribe to the channel. You know, subscribing to the channel, that really helps me to keep bringing the content. And ring that subscription bell because then you'll be notified when I have new lessons posted. Also, leave me a comment below. Let me know how you like this lesson. Let me know what lessons you'd like to see in the future. And if you like this video, please smash that like button. Give it a thumbs up. Share it. And thank you so much for your support. Now, obviously, with one guitar, right, you're probably not going to be playing the guitar solo. Um... But if you just wanted to play the chords underneath the solo or know what's going on underneath the solo, they're just playing those verse changes, the F sharp minor to A, 
to E, F sharp minor, but he does it four times around. And then right after that, he does the chorus changes, the D major seven, the A major seven twice, right? D major seven, C sharp minor seven, B minor seven to E. Um, and that's the guitar solo. That goes into verse two, and you run and run, catch up with the sun that's sinking, same as verse one, which goes into the chorus two, every year is getting shorter. Now there's one change. Chorus two, exact same as chorus one, except the very last chord. Um, in chorus one, remember, you went from that B minor seven to the E to build into the guitar solo to kind of turn that progression back around again to the verse progression. Here, because after this, you're going into that third verse, which is kind of um, a little bit different, the home, home again. You're going to go from that B minor seven. You can even do a B minor, but then you're going to do an F major seven over C. Because that F major 7 over C really need, uh, leads nicely to this E minor add 9 chord. So just play your F major 7, but add the C in the bass. Gilmore does that a lot. He'll, he'll add those little bass notes to the chords. Third fret on the A string, F major 7 over C. So that's uh, B minor 7, the time is gone, the song is over. You can even do B minor, thought I'd something more to say. Ah. And for that ah part, you got to get back to that E. So F major 7 over C, and that's the end of that second chorus. Now the next part of the song starts. progression is you're going to go E minor at 9, and I even pick the notes a little bit, or I'll just hit the low string, and then I'll strum, but back here on the bridge, it's real tight, you get that real trebly sound, and you hear Gilmore do that a lot also. So that's the E minor 9, or E minor add 9, to an A major chord. And you do that change four times, right? And then when it goes far away, C major seven, far away across the fields. And then it goes to B minor seven for the tolling of the iron bell. And then F major seven calls the faithful to their knees. G to hear the softly spoken magic spell. Really cool ending. Gilmore does that similar ending a lot. So the, after that F major 7, you go to G. I'll, I'll go over the strum pattern in a second. But then you're going to go to a D7 sharp 9 to a D7 flat 9 to B minor. Okay, so I'll play it from the far away. We'll use that same down, 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 up, up, down, up, down, up, like we did in the chorus. So I'll play the progression right from the last E minor 9 to A change. And that's it's good to warm my bones by the fire. Go far away across the field, tolling of the iron bell calls the faithful to their knees. Hear the softly spoken magic spell. Okay, so when you go to that F major seven, down, 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 up, up, down, up, down, up. Now on the G, down, 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 up. And then D7 sharp 9, down, D7 flat 9, down, and B minor. One hit, and let it ring, and that's it, the song ends. Lots of fun, enjoy that one. Don't forget, subscribe to the channel, that really helps you to keep bringing the content, and ring that subscription bell, because then you'll be notified when I have new lessons posted. Also, don't forget to click on that link in the YouTube description box, get my killer free video lesson on essential bar chord playing techniques and changing techniques, packed with exercises, you really enjoy it. And thank you so much for watching and thank you so much for your support over the years and years. So appreciated. Stay tuned. I got tons more killer lessons and songs coming. Keep up all that hard work on those guitars, right? Um, keep having fun with them. And remember, your guitar playing is an evolution. So enjoy the journey. Take care, rock on. See you in the next lesson. Mm -hmm.